Over the past 30 years, the population in Central Asia has increased threefold. But natural resources have degraded drastically over the same period. Climate change and reduction in available irrigation water may lower the level of food security, increase poverty, and strengthen competition for natural resources in the region. Soil salinity, flooding, and degradation of soil and pastures negatively affect the productivity of agriculture, a sector which accounts for 18 to 30 percent of GDP of economies in the region and represents the main source of income for 18 to 65 percent of the population. Regional yields have decreased by almost a third since independence. 60 to 80 percent of farmlands in Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan have been eroded over the last three decades. The primary causes are the consequences of climate change, ineffective land management, excessive use of chemical pesticides and protective liquids, irrational use of fresh water and other factors that have a negative effect on the environment, including partial loss of flora and fauna diversity. In 2018, the second phase of the FAO and GEF project commenced with the aim to implement effective practices for the integrated management of natural resources in the countries of Central Asia and Turkey. The main goal of the project is to reduce the burden on the natural environment by introducing effective practices and modern approaches for the complex use of natural resources with a view to reducing degradation while raising crop yields, increasing drought sustainability and resistance to salinity, and assisting in the implementation of two UN conventions on combating decertification and climate change. A regional platform for exchanging knowledge in the field of sustainable land resources management was established. In addition, 18 pilot areas have been selected in five countries where fieldwork has been underway for three years already. Research and intensive training for farmers is being conducted in cooperation with governmental and international partners. In the pilot areas in Kazakhstan, crops resistant to salt and drought have been cultivated and resource-saving technologies utilizing pasture management practices are being introduced. На данный период мы работаем совместно с ФАО над проектом по засухоустойчивым культурам. Здесь в Капале у нас 77 гектаров различных культур, которые мы высели и показываем нашим фермерам. In the pilot areas in Kyrgyzstan, drought-resistant varieties of Onobrychus, alfalfa, and other high-value fodder crops were planted. In addition, water measurement sensors and computer stations to gather data were installed to promote rational using of pasture resources. Cattle farmers were advised to switch to breeding high-yield livestock. In Uzbekistan, the project helped to install agro-meteorological stations that will give farmers an opportunity to plan their planting and harvests. More than 500,000 seedlings were planted under the project One Million Fruit Trees. Jarayonların tur belgiler, mahsulat yetiştiriş, ikilerini yığıştırış, jarayonların tur rejeleştiriş ki kısa koşuş ve şu arkalı, şu kışla hocalık da barkarar mahsulat yetiştiriş, barkarar daramat alış ve şu arkalı yani şu memleket az oka tavsiyeni tamirleş ki az yine kısa koştan ibaret. Sardabs, water reservoirs for storing fresh water, were constructed in the pilot areas in Turkmenistan. Nurseries were established to grow drought-resistant plants, trees, and shrubs. The root systems of plants will help to fix moving sands. 
Sonra çölleşmeye karşı görüş var ya da konvensiyonlar uğralıp gördü. Çöl ağaçlarının nahal hanası dördürlü. Çöl ağaçlarının nahal hanasında da bir neyse çöl ağaçlarının nahalları yetiştirilir, ısırıp yetiştirilir. Sağda çerke, kanlım yerli bir neyse ağaçları ısırıp yetiştirilir. On an area of more than 500 hectares in Tajikistan, practices of the efficient use of irrigation water have already been implemented. These consist of the cultivation of drought-resistant crops, the installation of drip irrigation systems, and the introduction of crop rotation. The FAO and GEF program, Initiative for the Sustainable Management of Natural Resources in Central Asia and Turkey, is designed not only to implement practices for the rational management of natural resources, but also to ensure economic sustainability and food security for the population of the region.